Good morning students. Today, we will be delving into the fascinating topic of esophageal stricture. Esophageal stricture refers to the narrowing or tightening of the esophagus, the tube connecting the throat to the stomach. This condition can result in significant discomfort and difficulty in swallowing, leading to an impaired quality of life for affected individuals. Now, let's explore the various aspects of esophageal stricture in more detail. Esophageal stricture is when the esophagus becomes narrower due to chronic inflammation, resulting in scar tissue formation. The excessive deposition of collagen and fibrosis in the esophageal wall further narrow the esophagus. This is caused by cytokines and growth factors stimulating fibroblast proliferation and collagen production. Patients with esophageal stricture often present with dysphagia, which is the sensation of difficulty or discomfort while swallowing. Initially, this may present only with solid food, but as the stricture progresses, it can affect the ability to swallow liquids as well. Other common symptoms include regurgitation, chest pain, weight loss, and heartburn. Physical examination may reveal signs of malnutrition or dehydration in severe cases. Additionally, the presence of gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, may indicate the underlying cause of the stricture. In the section on diagnostic approaches in esophageal stricture, we will explore the following tests. Esophageal pH monitoring assesses acidity levels over 24 hours to determine if acid reflux contributes to the stricture. Esophageal impedance testing measures movement of liquid and gas to identify abnormalities causing the stricture. CT scan or MRI provide detailed images of the esophagus to visualize structural abnormalities. Esophageal biopsy examines tissue for signs of inflammation, infection, or cancer. Esophageal strictures can be classified based on their cause, location, and severity. Classification systems, such as the Savary-Miller classification, help categorize strictures into different grades, ranging from I, mild, to 4, severe. This classification assists in determining the appropriate management approach based on the severity of the stricture. Esophageal stricture can have various underlying etiologies. The most common causes include 1. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, chronic acid reflux can lead to inflammation and scarring of the esophagus, resulting in strictures. 2. Eosinophilic esophagitis, this allergic condition causes inflammation and subsequent formation of strictures. 3. Caustic ingestion, accidental ingestion of corrosive substances can cause severe esophageal damage, leading to strictures. 4. Radiation therapy, Radiation treatment for thoracic or head and neck cancers can induce esophageal strictures. 5. Surgical complications. Some surgical interventions, such as anti-reflux procedures or esophagectomy, can result in esophageal strictures. Esophageal dilation is a commonly used treatment option for esophageal strictures. Techniques like balloon dilation, bougie dilation, and endoscopic laser therapy can be employed to widen the narrowed esophagus and improve swallowing function. In addition to dilation techniques, Medical management is crucial in the treatment of esophageal stricture. This primarily focuses on addressing the underlying cause and preventing stricture recurrence. Management strategies can include 1. Proton pump inhibitors, PPIs. These medications reduce gastric acid production, helping to alleviate symptoms of GERD and prevent the progression of strictures. 2. Topical corticosteroids. In cases of eosinophilic esophagitis, the use of steroid aerosols or viscous solutions can reduce inflammation and prevent stricture formation. 3. Elimination diets. Patients with food allergies or sensitivities may benefit from avoiding specific trigger foods. In some cases, surgical interventions may be required for the management of esophageal strictures that do not respond adequately to dilation or medical treatment. Surgical options may include 1. Esophageal resection. In severe cases, removal of the scarred portion of the esophagus followed by reconstruction is necessary to restore normal swallowing function. 2. Esophageal bypass procedures. These procedures redirect the flow of ingested food from the esophagus to the stomach, bypassing the narrowed segment. Esophageal strictures can lead to various complications, including 1. Malnutrition and weight loss. Difficulties in swallowing can result in inadequate intake of nutrients, leading to malnutrition. 2. Aspiration pneumonia. When food or fluids are regurgitated into the lungs, it can lead to infection and inflammation. 3. Recurrent strictures. Despite treatment, strictures can recur, requiring ongoing management and surveillance. In certain cases, esophageal strictures can present as emergencies requiring immediate attention. These emergencies may include 1. Complete obstruction. A severe stricture can cause complete obstruction of the esophagus, necessitating urgent intervention to prevent complications like aspiration. 
2. Perforation. In rare cases, dilation procedures can lead to esophageal perforation, which requires prompt surgical intervention. The long-term prognosis of esophageal stricture depends on the underlying cause, severity of the stricture, and response to treatment. Patients with GERT-related strictures may require lifelong management to prevent symptom recurrence. Regular follow-up appointments with gastroenterologists or surgeons are essential to monitor progress, detect any complications, and adjust treatment as needed. Advancements in medical technology continue to provide new treatment options for esophageal strictures. These include 1. Endoscopic steroid injection. Localized injection of corticosteroids can help reduce inflammation and prevent stricture formation. 2. Stents. Placement of self-expanding metal or silicone stents can provide temporary relief of dysphagia in certain cases, while acting as a scaffold for tissue regeneration. Esophageal stricture is a serious condition with significant impact. Understanding its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatments is crucial for effective care. Ongoing research and innovative therapies are improving patient outcomes. Thank you for watching.